Hello, how are you again? I'm, uh, I'm bringing a very short instruction to you all now uh, about catfish farming normally. Um, it's, uh, it's all about the type of questions I've, uh, um, I've been asked concerning how to house um, or keep uh, your catfish. Some people are asking if it is okay to keep them, you know, um, under open air like this, <clears throat> the open sky like this. And some people are saying, uh, should they be kept inside? Uh, look, there's no difference keeping them in or keeping them out. And for the people who think they should build something over their catfish ponds, you know, like um, a roof, a ceiling to cover it and all that, you should, you should understand that um, the natural habitat for fishes has no covering. The natural habitat, that is um, river, oceans and seas, has no covering. It's just under the sky. Okay. Now, uh, fishes being uh, staying under the sky, under the sun and all that, it, it, it does them nothing. As a matter of fact, it's even better for them to be under the sun. Uh, you know, so uh, it's, it's, it's either you put them under the sun, just as, you know, as it is here. You see this? Uh, look at this, as it is here. These are, these are the tanks under the, under the sky. You see that? You see that? That's it. Now, you see that here? That's it here also. And they are doing very well. They are doing very well here. Very, very well indeed. No matter how hot the sun is, you know. But something I have to say is this. <clears throat> now, when we have this type of very hot sun, like a heat wave, what you need to do then is like, uh, is um, try, try as much, you know, try as much as possible to... Um, not to not to feed not to feed them overfeed them at all at all because the heat if, during heat waves the heat alone is depleting oxygen in their water so try as much as possible at such times to feed them you know uh, moderately not too much at all okay and try to change your water every day at such times okay because the heat wave is bad for everybody, everything, uh, humans, fish or whatever. If it is too hot, it is very bad. So keep their water very, very oxygenated at such a time by not overfeeding and um, also uh, trying to, you know, try to change their water, you know, um, regularly. Of course, um, they won't be overcrowded also, you know. So this is what, this is what it is here outside and i'm getting very good results very good results no problems at all you know look at it that's that's what it is and then let's go to um this section it's a little bit dark in here okay now i have some tanks here you see them now these ones are inside a building in the same farm now i have no special reason for bringing them here inside this building there is no reason like because they, they are going to do better or they are going to be um, you know safer here no the only um, reason why I brought them in here is because I want to maximize the space I have I have used everything outside here so the only space I have now to, to um, <clears throat> you know to to breed is here. So I just brought tanks in here. It's not because, you know, it's, it has roof or anything and it's going to be better if I bring them inside um, a building that is covered. So outside or inside, your fishes will do very well. They are doing extremely well here also. And then, you know, if you come outside here, they are doing extremely well also. So um, the idea is, look, whatever you have, if you have um, the only space you have is covered, use it. If um, um, the space you have is not covered, use it. They do well in or out. And remember, like I said, even their natural habitat, rivers, oceans, streams, or whatever, wherever you find fishes, they are directly under the sky. No covering. And they are doing very well. Thank you.
my name is Greg. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that informations like this immediately they drop you'll be the first to get it thank you bye now